The project planner contact form is quite a big contact form with many elements in it and a lot of fields. First off, we're going to go and change the colors in the master CSS color changer. That would be the best place to start. Once we've updated the colors we want there, then we can go into the module settings and look at the rest. So here we are in the master CSS color changer, uh, project planner contact form. Let's just start by updating all of these colors because they're pretty much uniform. You've got the underlines, you've got the purple when you click and for example this one as well when you select it you've got a purple background and then let's update these first and then we can go to the uh, module settings and see what we, we can update there so i'm just going to go through these they marked out clearly and i'm just going to quickly replace the purple with a bright green you can just follow the same and pick the color that you want whatever that color is and you'll just see it over here i'm just updating all of them and once we've done all of that we can just copy this code we're going to paste it into our custom css box for the page then we're going to click save update and we'll reload the page and we'll see what we've got so here you can see the colors have now changed right so most of the items have changed it's this this uh, box outline that we need to change and uh, so let's go to the uh, module settings itself let's look through here see if we can find anything so i'm in the advanced tab let's see if we can find some color there there we go there's the purple color let's grab that we want a bright green and let's just change it over there and then the message field that was a little uh, outline one pixel that we want to change as well and the rest seems good to go so now we can save we can update and have a quick final look so this purple line should be gone there we go now everything has changed except of course the headline that will be easy enough to change you would just do that over here I'll show you quickly under the design. There it is. Let's just hit save. With regards to updating the contact form fields, I recommend that you go to the Divi documentation for that. These can be quite complex. Uh, if you are new at them, they, they're easy to figure out once you know how they work. Uh, so if you want to play around with that, I recommend go to the Divi documentation or just click it open and figure it out yourself. I'm sure you'll be able to handle it. Uh, so that would wrap it up for this one. Let me just hit the update button and we can take one final look. And there we go. Everything's updated and changed and we are good to go. Thanks for watching.